you guys here with quality service today. So we went over in one of my videos on how to diagnose a well pump, and I kind of went over how to pull it out. Today I want to go over, you know, checking the pump, more so checking it. I talked about how to check if the wire is broke. We're going to go over how to replace the pump, and we'll check the wire. I got a little piece made up here to kind of simulate you know what it'll look like once it's on the ground. Go over how to double check your wire. So you're at the wellhead. This doesn't have a wellhead on this, but it's the same thing. You got a red and a black wire most likely. Sometimes it's uh, the crappy uh, braided wire. A lot of people use that because it's cheaper. You're gonna have, uh, if it's a flat, braided wire there's three basically put together like that but it's yellow you're gonna have a black or red stripe on it you gotta finagle cut that stuff apart it's a real pain in the butt but what you're gonna do is you're gonna put those together you're gonna go back to the pump end try to do this so you can see it this is we'll say this is the end we disconnected from the pump you can do this at either end you can wire nut it here or you can wire nut it at the head it doesn't matter Check continuity before we before we say the pump's bad or something's wrong with the pump. Always check your meter. So I'll show you on this wire. Doesn't have it, but just because your wire's not broke doesn't mean your wire's not cracked. You need to check it and make sure it's not skinned and bare wire showing. Like I said, within about the first 20 foot of the pump, sometimes it can be higher than that. 